question 151 hormones a and b which can easily pass through the cell membrane of the target cell and bind to receptors within the nucleus are somatostatin and pitocin cortisol and testosterone angiotensin and glucagon thyroxine and msh we have to identify hormones a and b and they can easily pass through the cell membranes we know that lipid soluble hormones can easily pass through the cell membrane and steroid hormones are lipid soluble and they can easily pass through the cell membranes and after gaining entry into the cell they bind to their intracellular receptors to carry out their function so out of the given options Let's analyze them. Cortisol and testosterone are steroid hormones. Whereas other given options are non-steroidal. So the correct answer here would be option number 2. Cortisol and testosterone. Question 152. While traveling on a jungle safari, you suddenly encounter a pack of lions. The physiological change for flight or fight reaction within your body occurring immediately will be due to the activation of the parathyroid glands causing increased metabolic rate, the kidney leading to suppression of renin angiotensin aldosterone pathway, the adrenaline medulla leading to increased secretion of epinephrine and norepinephrine, the pancreas causing hypoglycemia. As per the given situation, the individual would experience fear and on encountering any fearful or a stressful situation, the sympathetic nerves will stimulate the adrenal medulla for release of emergency hormones. That is adrenaline and noradrenaline. And these hormones would prepare the body for flight or fight. So the correct answer here would be option number three adrenal medulla leading to increased secretion of epinephrine that is adrenaline and norepinephrine that is noradrenaline whereas the other given option that parathyroid glands would cause increased metabolic rate is incorrect and kidney would lead to suppression of renin of ras pathway that's also incorrect and lastly the pancreas causing hypoglycemia is also incorrect glycogenolysis would result in increased glucose level in the blood to deal with such situations so the right answer here is option number three question 153 the clock of aging gland among following that gradually reduces and degenerates with aging is thyroid thymus parathyroid pituitary as and when the person ages or reaches maturity the immunity of that person decreases and this reduced immunity could be attributed to the atrophy of thymus gland so the functional portion of thymus degenerates with aging the right answer here would be option number two thymus answer is two question 154 the hormone which stimulates vigorous contractions of uterus at the time of childbirth is relaxin, oxytocin, GH that is growth hormone, TSH thyroid stimulating hormone. When a pregnant female nears the end of the pregnancy, oxytocin would be released and oxytocin would cause vigorous contractions in the wall of uterus. to facilitate the delivery of the fetus. Oxytocin would also initiate milk ejection from memory glands. So the right answer is option number two, oxytocin, whereas relaxin relaxes the pubic symphysis and dilate the uterine cervix near the end of pregnancy. And growth hormone and TSH would not play any significant role 
during parturition. The correct answer here is option number 2. Question 155. The effect of GnRH produced by hypothalamus is that it directly stimulates synthesis and secretion of gonadotropins, secretion of milk in mammary glands, synthesis of carbohydrates, fetal ejection reflex. If you talk about GnRH, that is gonadotropin releasing hormone, it's a releasing hormone and it would stimulate anterior pituitary to release gonadotropins. which are namely FSH, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone. So the correct answer here would be option number one, where a secretion of milk in mammary glands is a function of prolactin, synthesis of carbohydrates, that's incorrect. Whereas fetal ejection reflex is a complex neuroendocrine mechanism involving stimuli from fully developed fetus, oxytocin, etc. So the correct answer is option number one.